back with another tutorial and today I want to show you how to create your own Acuity scheduling uh, templates to uh, add to your scheduling site or to sell them. Um, so Acuity is part of Squarespace now so it's this scheduling uh, port website feature. Um, and I guess there's not a lot of um, easy uh, ways to customize it or there's not a lot of options to customize it but you can actually do it with um, just images so what you can do is actually just create um, a few tiles like these to uh, customize your site and give a lot more visual and information um, and then just text. So what um, I did is just create them in 1120 by 630. Um, I think there is also a limit on size when you put it into your Acuity, um, your Acuity profile. So when you insert it, uh, I think it caps it at a certain um, file size, so you have to make sure that you don't go over that. I don't remember what it is, but if I do, I will um, put it in the description for you. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you that it's really simple to make it. Um, I actually have these on my shop if you want to buy them, if you don't think you can design one of these yourselves. Um, so. Um, what you can do is just really easy. What I do is just um, put any images that you have in here and add it in there. Um, you can change up the font on here to your own um, your own style and um, your shop name. And then all of these are editable. Um, you can put your own picture in here, of course, and um, all the different policies you want to add on here. They're all editable and you can also edit the um, Edit the color on here. So everything's editable um, Or you can just use it as is if you like it as is um, You just need to change up the text in here so um, next I'll show you how to insert it in to your Acuity um, scheduler. Okay, so now I'm logged into my Acuity account and you need to go to Customize Appearance. And once you're in there, you just need to go in the text box and then um, go add images and then choose whichever tile you want to be first. And for me, it's names. So it shows up like this. And um, you just have to keep adding the next tile that you want after. And I want to put about, so I put it in below and just follow the steps to complete all the other tiles that you want in order. And once you're done doing that, um, you can actually see on the side that it'll show you what it actually looks like. Um, as a preview and to clean it up I would just um, go back into the text box and remove the spaces between the tiles so that it looks like one cohesive uh, image and it's great because you can do that and um, it looks like an actual designed website now And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And if you want to make another um, customization like um, adding color to your background, you can do that, but you have to go back into the monthly view and then it'll give you the option to change the um, scheduler background. So you can change it to match whatever templates you have. 
um, and you can also change different header text color and all that kind of stuff so you can play around with it in there So this is pretty much my tutorial for customizing your QD scheduler. Um, if this is something that you want to make yourself, um, Canva is a great way to make it. And I have a 30 day free trial for the pro version so everything is unlocked for you if you want to use the link in my description. And for those that don't want to spend the time to make it. Um, I have this in my shops and you can purchase it as a template and export all the images after if you customize um, all your text and stuff so that link is also in my description and thanks for watching.